Hey everyone, Namaste and welcome. This is your CSR, CS Rajesh, your log area. I hope you guys are doing good and keeping your preparations intact. In this video, I'll discuss the various types of questions asked in the law paper professional examination and also how to present the answer for each type of questions in the examination. The first type of questions asked in the law paper is the practical question or case study based question. For practical questions, you should divide your answers into three parts. Part 1 to write the provisions of the act, part 2 to write the facts of the question in brief and the part 3 to write the conclusion. I repeat three parts, part 1 to write the provisions of the act, part 2 to write the facts of the question in brief and the part 3 to write the conclusion. So, to start the provisions of the act in the part 1, you can use any of these six phrases. The first one, as per the provision of the section. Second one, pursuant to the section. Third one, according to the section. Fourth one, as per the section. A fifth one, section provides that. And sixth one, in terms of the provisions of the section. So, you can use any of these six phrases to start your provisions of the act. If the question is based on multiple sections, to add a one more section or a one more provision, you can use the phrase called as further as per the section or to add a rule further as per the rule. After that, in the second part or a second para, you will write the facts of the question in brief. Then in the third para, comparing the facts of the question with the provisions of the law, you write your conclusion and to write the conclusion, you can start your answer with the phrases called as considering the above provision or based on the above provision or applying the above rules, it can be concluded or it can be said that. So, you can use any of these phrases to conclude your answers. This is how you can present your answers for the practical questions the law paper. Then you may get a theory questions that is if the question end with the word called as critically examined, then it is a theory question. So, you just have to write the provisions of the act with the detailed explanations. If any examples are given in the ICO material or ICSO material, just quote those examples or case studies. Then if the question is, question ends with the word called as decide the validity, it is similar to the practical question. So, just write the provisions of the act. At the concluding part, just write the answer with the starting phrase referring to the above provisions. And if the question ends with the word called as discuss in brief, write the provisions of the law and also do write any case studies if, the, if it is given in the ICSA material or ICA material and at the end conclude your answers starting with the praise in the light of the facts of the question as well as the provisions of the law. If the question is explained then it is a theory question write the facts of the question and the provisions of the law. If the question is to distinguish between the two terms then you can present the answer either in the table form or in the paragraph form, both presentations are perfectly fine and fetches equal marks in the examinations. So, these are the types of questions asked in the examinations and this is how you can present your answers in the examinations. I hope this video helped you guys in the preparations for your examinations. See you guys in the next video. Until then, keep learning law. Dhaniwad.